other books that you've got here. Uh, first of all, this one, The Secret Diary of Nikola Tesla. Tesla. This was fascinating to me because tell us what he did and things that we didn't know about. Poor old Nikola Tesla. Yeah. <laughs> Poor Nick. <laughs> His spirit lives on. <laughs> he was born on the stroke of midnight in a violent thunderstorm with lightning striking all around mm -hmm. in a little town in the middle of the Yugoslav countryside. And he always said that his destiny was in lightning. And that's why I chose this cover picture. This is his lab in oh, Colorado okay. Springs with lightning bolts shooting out of his Tesla coil, million <laughs> volts through the air. That'll curl your hair. That'll curl your Tesla coil, won't it? It will. And what Tesla did that most people may or may not know is he actually invented every electrical device we use, everything. He invented the alternating current system that all of our electronics run on. Edison, however, was dedicated to direct current, which of course is what powers flashlights and mm -hmm. cars. And Edison was dedicated to direct current and he was not about to let anybody muscle in on his monopoly on direct current. Well, the problem is that direct current had some real serious flaws, mm -hmm. like you couldn't transmit it for more than a mile without serious voltage drops. And there were wires all over because you had to directly wire from the electronic source to the electronic consumer. Mm -hmm. And what Tesla's does is it allows you to step up the voltage, transmit low, low amperage, high voltage, and then step it down for household use. So you don't have to have a wire from the transmitting station to your house. It can go through intermediaries. Hmm. Okay. Well, what Tesla did was he thought, wow, Edison's doing this. I'm going to go to America and join forces with Tesla. I mean, with Edison. Well, he had like, you know, $20 to his name and he got on a boat and he got off in New York and he got his letter of, re of introduction out and went to see Edison. And Edison said, wow, you're just the guy we need. We have a job that is so critical. If you can fix this job in five days, I will give you $50,000. And Tesla was like, woohoo, I just got off the boat and I've got my <laughs> fortune already. So he goes and in his typical workaholic, he attacks the problem and he solves it in four days, no sleep, no food. And he comes back to Tesla's office to get paid. To Edison's office. I mean, Edison's office. Yeah. And Edison says, oh, Mr. Tesla, you just don't understand the American sense of humor. I was only joking. That rat. And so Tesla was stunned. He had a classic European education. He had, I don't know, four or five different degrees. He was qualified in engineering and electronics and mm -hmm. foreign languages. And here he is facing this thug that just ripped him off for mm -hmm. $50,000. He said, we'll see about that, Mr. Edison. He immediately went out and made friends with some powerful people, started his own electric company, and immediately began competing with Edison. Wow. And Edison went to his backers and said, we got to put this guy underground. So they did these terrible, terrible promo things. They electrocuted an elephant in the streets of New York to prove that Tesla's power was dangerous. And the videos of this, Jody, are just ghastly. So this is uh, the shadow side of Thomas oh, Edison. Oh, Edison was a thug and a, just, wow. Uh, he just could not stand the thought of competition. Mm -hmm. Well, Tesla knew that his stuff was safe, mm -hmm. much safer than the direct current that Edison was peddling. So he would do these public demonstrations. And he was tall and skinny, six foot four, skinny as a being pole, always wore impeccable, ties, tails, you know, mm -hmm. and his shoes were always polished and sometimes even white gloves. And his hair was always just so. Well, he would do these public demonstrations of his Tesla coil and his generated electricity. And one of the famous ones has Mark Twain 
holding a fluorescent tube mm -hmm. and lightning shooting out of Tesla's fingers across the room and lighting up the bulb that Mark Twain is holding. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, the reporters just ate this up. Right. This was like, oh, Mr. Tesla, Dr. Tesla, tell us again how your electricity works. Well, he was patenting devices at a rapid clip. He holds more single patents, I think, to this day than any other individual in the United States. And he would be filing dozens and dozens of patents every year. Well, Edison was paying people to do research and then Edison in the form of General Electric was patenting them in General Electric's name. Tesla was inventing stuff that nobody had ever even conceived of. So when he was chosen in 1893 over Edison to do the electrification of the, of the World's Fair in Chicago, mm -hmm. oh, Edison was just beside himself. I bet. Just absolutely apoplectic. And the whole fair was lit up by Tesla technology. This was his proof that we can do this. Mm -hmm. And from that day on, America was electrified with Tesla technology. He put in the turbines at Niagara Falls mm -hmm. that generated all the electricity that was transmitted to New York City. He electrified the mines in Colorado that were enormously unsafe. Mm -hmm. And he did it safely and I guess some of the turbines are still running. Um, his technology is cutting edge and when you read the patents it's kind of scary because you go, how could he think of this? Well here was the part that fascinated me. When I first found out about Tesla, I was in this little teeny tiny museum in Colorado Springs that has subsequently become defunct. And they had all these Tesla exhibits and you could push buttons and you could do little video things. And I had my son with me and we were like, whoa, this is so cool. Who's ever heard of Nikola Tesla? You hear about Edison, right. but you never hear about Tesla. So we had this instant upward learning curve about Tesla. I said, why has he been expunged? Then I found out that the Smithsonian wouldn't even let him in. Why? Edison, the thugs. That rat. Oh, it was awful. I mean, it was, it was <laughs> yeah. character slander. Anyhow, Tesla Museum led me to this biography of Tesla, and he said that he could see the devices that he was inventing. They would be holographically right in front of him, he could see them, he could open them up, he could rotate them, but he was a, not a draftsman, so he couldn't draw them. Mm -hmm. And it would drive his engineers crazy because he would try to tell them how to draw what he was seeing. Right. And when they got it right, it worked the first time. Now this never happens in engineering, mm -hmm. never. And he considered those, those visions his gift from God. His father had been a minister, mm -hmm. so he was looking for his gift always. And these visions were part of what he considered his purpose on earth was, was to give humanity free electricity forever. Free. Well, the times have changed, haven't they? Well, he was voted down by Mr. Edison and the thugs. <laughs> So I had to write the book in his own words, from his own research, and it can't be an autobiography because it's obviously not written by him, right. and it can't be a biography because it's written by him in his first person mm -hmm. voice. So it's a beast of neither breed, and I had sent it to many of the likely publishers and they all said, oh, this is too edgy, we can't really do this. So nobody wanted to take a, uh, a, a swing at Thomas Edison? Well, I tried. I used that as my leverage to get in to see the editors, but I finally said, you know what? I can do this myself now that I know about Create Space and Book mm -hmm. Surge, and I can sell it as well as anybody can because I can find the Tesla people who want to read about it, and I can market it to the libraries that don't have a lot of stuff about Tesla. Right. And that's what I've been doing. It's about uh, four months old, mm -hmm. and I've sold a, enough copies that I'm feeling like Tesla is happy now. <laughs> his, his name is yes. being redeemed. Well, um, if you're just tuning in, I'm Jody C., and this is Backpage, and I'm visiting with Gwen Spencer about many things today, but this particular book is The Secret Diary, Diary of Nikola Tesla.
uh, who was an inventor and um, uh, not a colleague, but a competitor. competitor of Thomas Edison. So now, 